I never think about my vents other than the vent on my actual dryer. But that's changed after a new dryer she purchased hasn't been working right. The company she bought it from says it could be her vent. So Warren McRae, the owner of McRae's Handyman, is making a house call. At least every other week I've been getting a call on dryer vents to come look at them, check them out. Um, some go through the roof, some go through the wall, just depends. Chris's is on the roof. It's a very different world from up here. This vent definitely looks like it could be the problem. Ooh. Yeah. It's totally clogged. I'm looking at all this lint plugging the vent so that the heat and moisture and air can't come out of the dryer when they're drying their clothes. Um, it's got to go somewhere, so this is huge fire hazard. Every year, thousands of house fires start when lint combusts. Warren uses a lint cleaning brush to remove the offending material. And he says people can do the job themselves if they want. The brushes can be bought online or at a hardware store. Chris explains what finally made her believe it could be the vent and not the machine. So I went ahead and unhooked the hose part like they suggested, and as soon as I did that, it worked fine. Now Warren is working from the inside. This is lint and stuff that most likely because it's down here, we pushed it from the top. Soon, the ducts are clean and the lint has been vacuumed. And what a load it is. How often does Warren recommend you do it or get it done? You should do it at least once a year. Um, some people recommend more, but I would say once a year would be average. You need to do it. Mike Duffy, ABC 10.